NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Matt, I keep saying I'm proud of our team. We support them. Absolutely. But from inside, dry. <laughs> I'm not going to be going in. I will no. be supporting them. That polar plunger is going to be more like a spring soaking. It's going to be like 50 degrees on Saturday. Might be so. a, yeah, not as bad. Not quite as bad, but there's still going to be ice chunks floating around. I mean, the water is going to be cold no matter which way you slice it, but at least we'll have temperatures closer to 50. Check out some of these highs projected for Saturday. Going with 50 in Burlington, but look at Southern Vermont. 54 Brattleboro and Bennington could make a run at the upper 50s if we do get enough sunshine. I think there'll be a lot of clouds around on Saturday and a couple of showers, but overall feeling a lot more like April rather than February. So some of us on Saturday could break some records. Right now the record uh, is only 46 in Burlington. That was set back in 2001, so 50 would smash that by 4 degrees. Plattsburgh, we're thinking it comes close, but quite, not quite a cigar there with a 50 uh, as your record high. We're going with 48 for a high in Plattsburgh. St. J, though, 49 the projected high. That would beat the old record of 47, which was actually set just last year on that date. So a lot of mild temperatures ahead and we're already starting to feel those milder temperatures today. I know there's more clouds coming in from the northwest, but overall temperatures are rising into the 30s. There may be a few flurries out by St. Lawrence County, but a lot of that just isn't reaching the ground because the air is so dry. Now our next system that we've been talking about for Friday into Saturday, a little rain event. It's getting going in the Great Plains and the Rockies. You can see not much going on though. Pretty impressive is the fetch of air from the south. You see how these clouds are moving all the way up into Canada. We've got a big old ridge of high pressure. That means the jet stream goes to the north and it just lets all of this warm air from the deep south come up into the northeast. So that's what's going to be happening over the next couple of days. We will have more cloud cover than we've seen the past couple of days today, but the wind won't be very strong, so it won't feel too bad out there. Skies start to clear out tonight. There may be some clouds tomorrow morning, but I think overall tomorrow afternoon is a lot brighter than today. Look at all that sunshine on Futurecast at 3 p.m. tomorrow. It's going to feel amazing with temperatures rising through the 40s with that stronger February sun. Then the clouds sort of come back on Friday. I think we'll still see some sunshine on Friday, but overall it's a little bit more overcast and there's a chance at an afternoon shower or sprinkle. But overall, we are not talking about a lot of rain for the Friday into Saturday system. Now, of course, it gets warm this weekend, but what about after that? We've been talking about this pattern change. It does look like we have uh, a good chance at some below average temperatures. That would be uh, into the third week of February though, from the 14th out through the 20th. Temperatures getting a little bit colder and there's a chance that we may mix in some snow, especially by next week. So you'll see that on the five day forecast. Of course, no snow with the warm up. Temperatures going into the 40s by tomorrow with all that beautiful sunshine. We're still in the 40s Friday with more clouds clouds and there's your 50 on Saturday. We've put the impact icon on Saturday just because of the chance at a few passing showers or quick, very quick downpours. Sunday gets chillier, but still around 40. And then we're looking at the Monday into Tuesday time frame of next week. There's a possible storm right now. Trends are that it goes south of us, but there's been some indication that it may come a little farther north than anticipated. So Monday into Tuesday next week, that's where we're watching for our next snow chance. And then just in time for Valentine's Day uh, next Wednesday, temperatures turn a little bit more seasonable back in the 20s.